So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about sequence. Let us apply the missing numbers in the following sequence. The first term is 4, second term is 9, third term is 14, and then the fifth term is 24. Let us see what could be the pattern. The pattern to be added from 4 to 9, that is 5. 9 plus 5, 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. So it means the fourth term is 19. 19 plus 5 is 24. And 24 plus 5, that is equal to 29. So the missing number is 19 and 29. In example number 2, let us apply the missing numbers in the following sequence. 3, 8, 15, and 24. Let us see what could be the pattern from 3 up to 24 to be able to identify the missing numbers. From 3 to 8, so we add 5. From 8 to 15, we add 7. From 15 to 24, we add 9. So it means 24 plus 11, that is equal to 35. So the number to be added or the pattern to be added, that is 13. So 35 plus 13, that is equal to 48. As you can see in the pattern, we add 2. 5 plus 7 is 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 2 is 13. So 24 plus 11 is 35. 35 plus 13 is 48. So the missing numbers is 35 and 48. In example number 3, let us find the third term and the sixth term of the sequence 1, 3. The third term is unknown, 1836, and the sixth term is unknown. Let us identify the pattern to be able to get the third and then the sixth term. So 1 plus 2, 3, correct. But then 18 plus 2 cannot be. Let us see what could be the pattern. So 1 times 3 is 3, correct. So it means if we multiply it with 3, we can get 3. How about here? 18 times 3 is 54, so cannot be. So let us try if we multiply it with 2. So 18 times 2, that is equal to 36. So as you can see, the pattern is we need to multiply it with 3, and we need to multiply it with 2. So 1 times 3 is 3, and then 3 times 2, that is equal to 6. So 6 to get 18, we need to multiply it with 3. 6 times 3 is 18. To get 36, 18 times 2 is 36. So multiply with 3, multiply with 2, multiply with 3, multiply with 2, and then multiply it with 3. So 36 times 3, that is 108. So the third term is 6 and 108. How about example number 4? Find the second and the fifth term of the sequence. 49, the second term is unknown, 43, 40, and then the fifth term is unknown, and then 34. Let us see what could be the pattern. So, ito lang yung pwede nating tignan. So, 43 minus 40. To get 40, we need to subtract it with 3. So, 43 minus 3 is 40. So, there is a possibility that the pattern, we need to subtract it with 3. So, let us try. 49 minus 3, that is equal to 46. Minus 3, 43. Minus 3, 40. Minus 3 is 37. Minus 3, the answer is equal to 34. So it means the second term is 46 and then the fifth term is 37. Let us see what could be the first and then the last term of the sequence. We have the given that is 80, 83, 81, and then 84. Let us see what could be the pattern to get that number. So 80 plus 3, 83. And then 83, we need to subtract it with 2. So 83 minus 2 is 81. 81 plus 3, 84. As you can see with the pattern, we need to subtract it, uh, add by 3, subtract it by 2. So it means... Here, we need to subtract it with 2. So, um, 82 minus 2, that is equal to 80. 80 plus 3 is 83. 
minus 2, 81, plus 3, 84, and then minus 2, that is equal to 82. So the first term is 82, and then the last term is 82. Let us get the next three terms of each sequence. We have 2, 8, and 14. So the pattern from 2 up to 8, we need to add 6. So 2 plus 6, 8. From 8 to 14, we need to add 6. So 8 plus 6 is 40. So it means 14 plus 6 is 20. 20 plus 6 is 26. 26 plus 6, that is equal to 32. So it means the next three terms are 20, 26, and 32. In example number 7, let us find the next three terms of each sequence. We have 12, 8, and 4. So let us see what could be the pattern. From 12 up to 8, we need to subtract it with 4. So 12 minus 4, that is equal to 8. 8 minus 4, that is equal to 4. So it means from the next three terms, we need to subtract it with 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 minus 4, that is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 4, that is equal to add, that is negative 8. So the next three terms are 0, negative 4, and negative 8. How about number 8? Let us find the next three terms of the sequence 5, 6, and 8. Let us see what could be the pattern. From 5 to 6, we need add 1. From 6 to 8, we need add 2. So it means... Continuously, we need to add it here with 3, 4, and then 5. So it means 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. If we here is 3, so 4, 11 plus 4 is 15. If here we add 4, so here we need to add 5. 15 plus 5, that is 20. So the next three terms are 11, 15, and 20. How about number 9? Let us find the next three terms of the given 7, 15, 23, and then the three terms. So from here up to here, we need to add 8. So 7 plus 8 is 15. From here up to here, we need to add with 8. So it means from the next three terms, we need to add it with 8. So 23 plus 8, that is equal to 31. Plus 8, that is 39. Plus 8, the answer is equal to 47. So the next three terms of the sequence are 31, 39, and 47. How about number 10? Let us find the next four terms of each sequence, 31, 24, and 17. We need to identify the next four terms. So what could be the pattern from 31 to 24? So we subtract it with 7. 31 minus 7 is 24. Minus 7 is 17. From 17 up to here, we need to subtract it with 7. So 17 minus 7 is 10. Minus 7, that is equal to 3. 3 minus 7 subtract, that is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 minus 7, that is equal to negative 11. So the next four terms are 10, 3, negative 4, and negative 11. How about if the given is s of n is equal to n minus 3? We need to identify the first six terms of the sequence. How to identify the first six terms of the sequence? We need to replace the value of n by 1, by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5, and then by 6. First, we need to subtract it. So 1 minus 3, that is equal to negative 2. After 1 is 2. 2 minus 3, that is negative 1. So after 2 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. Next to 3 is 4, 4 minus 3, that is equal to 1. Next is to 4 is 5, 5 minus 3, that is equal to 2. And then 6 minus 3, the answer is equal to 3. As you can see with the pattern, we add 1. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, plus 1, 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. And then 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. How about example number 12? Let us write the first six terms of the sequence. S of n is equal to n plus 5. So we need to replace n by 1 up to 6. 
So 1 plus 5, that is equal to 6. 2 plus 5, that is 7. And then 3 plus 5, that is equal to 8. As you can see, the number to be added from 6 up to 7 is 1. From 7 up to 8, that is 1. So it means 8 plus 1 is 9. So without solving, based on the pattern, we add 1. So 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 1, that is equal to 11. So the first six terms of the sequence are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. In example number 13, let us find the first six terms of the sequence s of n is equal to 2n plus 1. We need to replace the value of n by 1, by 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. So first, replace it with 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, that is equal to 3. Next is 2. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, that is equal to 5. Next to 2 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, that is equal to 7. So to identify the next three terms of this sequence, let us see what could be the pattern. So 3, to get 5, we add 2. To get 7, we add 2. So it means 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. And then 11 plus 2, the answer is equal to 13. So the first six term of the sequence, that is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. How about example number 14? Let us write the first six terms of the sequence. S of n is equal to 10 minus 2n. So replace n by 1. So 2, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So 10 minus 2, that is equal to 8. Replace n by 2. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So 10 minus 4, that is equal to 6. After replacing with 2, let us try 3. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So it means 10 minus 6, the answer is equal to 4. So as you can see, based on the pattern, we need to subtract it with 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. Minus 2, that is equal to 4. So it means the pattern is subtract it with 2. So we need to subtract the next three terms. So 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. And then 0 minus 2, that is negative 2. So the first six terms of the sequence are 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, and negative 2. How about number 15? Let us write the first six terms of the sequence. S of n is equal to 3n minus 1. Let us replace the value of n by 1. So 3 times 1 is 3 minus 1. That is equal to 2. Next to n is 2. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1. That is equal to 5. Next to 2 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 1. That is equal to 8. So let us see what could be the pattern. So 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus 3 is 8. So the number to be added for this pattern is 3. So it means 8 plus 3, that is 11. 11 plus 3, the answer is equal to 14. Plus 3, the answer is 17. So the first six terms of the sequence are 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17. Instruction. Find the missing term in the following sequence. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.